Hello everyone, welcome and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Sharita and the name of my channel is Unique by Sharita. Welcome. So in today's video, we're going to be refreshing our primary bedroom and we are partnering with Quince. So y'all, when Quince reached out to me, I did my homework and I found out that they believe in exceptional high quality essentials at a price within reach. So they have everything from clothing, jewelry, and home goods, even luggage. So be sure to check them out. So I selected Quince's linen duvet cover set. It came with the duvet cover and two pillowcases. I also was like, let me see if I can find a silk pillowcase. And I did. So I selected the terracotta 100% mulberry silk pillowcase. And I was only able to snatch one of the mulberry silk pillowcases because they sell out pretty quick. So the items arrived. I also selected a sheet set as well as the duvet cover set. And I realized I selected a fitted sheet set. So as you can see, you do have an option to choose the fitted sheet set or a complete set. So since I don't have a complete set, I'm going to go ahead and use some bedding or sheets that I already had. And I do love this brand of sheets as well. I'll link these in the description as well. And pretty much everything I'm going to be using in this space I already had except the new bedding from Quince. And these are some nightstands I've had forever. I absolutely love them. I love the height of them as well. They're more of a silver and metallic color. And of course, we have a really dark beige lampshade. Out of all of the bedrooms in our home, this is the only room that has symmetry. And I am glad to say at least it is symmetry in our primary bedroom. So with that being said, I was able to add another lamp to this side of the bedroom. And this was a pleasant surprise. This artificial plant was gifted to me from Anting and I absolutely love it. And I say it was a pleasant surprise because I originally thought that I was going to be getting a olive plant. And to my pleasant surprise, it's an artificial agave snake plant. Absolutely love it. And you know, it does fit my style. So I'm going to add it to my bedroom. I do already have this a plant stand that I'm going to add it to. I'm going to come back later on uh, in another day or so and add some more greenery to it. And later on, I did move it. So I absolutely love it. So I've already moved the mirrors out of the space. I hung that wall art on the wall off camera. And now I'm just going to go ahead and continue making the bed. I did steam my sheets off camera. I've been doing that forever. I started with an inexpensive steamer several years ago. And if you've been following me for a while, you know uh, I did upgrade my uh, hand steamer to the one that you see in this video and I absolutely love it. I may experiment a little bit more with some different brands, but for now, this one has been doing the job so i what i did today is i inserted our sleeping pillows into the bed spread uh pillowcase set so later on i'm going to come back and remove them so i can add the silk pillowcases to those because we sleep with on the ones that we insert into these um, bedspread pillowcases. Sometimes we take them off at night and sometimes we don't. It just depends, but I like to sleep on a silk 
pillowcase. The ones we had before were black and they were busted. It was time for a change and I absolutely love them. I had some gray ones too before in some uh, different, different colors, but these are the first ones I've had in this color. And I chose this color to go with the ottoman that you'll see at the end of this bit. This large center pillow is a 26 inch pillow cover. I purchased it from Amazon, I already had the insert. So I made these pillows some a couple of years ago and I couldn't remember how to put a zipper on, but I managed to make it work. And yes, I made all four of those pillows. Two are 24 inches, two are 22 inch pillows. And I purchased the fabric, pulled my sewing machine out of the attic and got to work. And y'all, I couldn't even remember how to install a zipper. It's been that long, but I made it work. I so that zipper from one end of the pillow square to the other end of the pillow square. Yes, I know that is not how you make pillows, but it worked and I absolutely love them. So moving right along, we're going to go ahead and add our new duvet to the bed. And I already inserted the duvet insert off camera. Really easy to do. I also brought the steamer back out to steam the noticeable folds on the duvet cup. And those were the noticeable noticeable folds from shipping. I did not steam the entire duvet cover. Let's go ahead and decorate the nightstands. I purchased this beautiful gold vase or planner from Home Goods. Absolutely love it. It's gold on the outside and a really bright orange enamel in the inside. It is perfect for this artificial orchid. I believe this gold planner came in three sizes. Of course, I'm adding the large on my side and I'll add the medium on my husband's side. And I like to add a picture frame as well as a little tray, something I can put my jewelry in at night. And here's the other planner or vase, if that's what you wanna call it. We're going to add it to my husband's side of the bed. And of course, I'm going to use green on his side. Now, if you don't want your space to look too feminine and you want to add flowers or some type of floor arrangement to your space, I think orchids is a safe way to go. I'm going to be using orchids on my side and greenery on my husband's side. And as you saw on my nightstand, I added a heart decorative tray. And on his side, I'm going to add a metal crown. And as you know, I do like to share a scent of the day when I decorate our primary bedroom. And Azaro gifted my husband the Azaro Wanted Auto Perfume, as well as Azaro's Most Wanted Auto Perfume Intense. And I love them both. My scent of the day is Hermes. It's Twilly D Hermes. Eau de Perfume, absolutely love it. Can be considered a springtime fragrance. It's made with ginger, tuberose, and sandalwood. Absolutely love it. I'll leave a link for it in the description. Just adding these black and gold pillows to these side chairs. And then I'm going to add this orange vase. It has a little gold built in it to the dresser with some greenery. And of course, a orange candle to pull the colors together in the space. I'm just popping these battery operated puck or ceiling lights back in. I had to charge them and I did come back later and take them down because my batteries were dead in my remote control. So I wasn't able to turn them off at night. And these are the sheets. I just wanted to show them to you again. I did throw them in the washing machine and let them dry and put them up. So I'll have them when I'm ready to use them later on. They'll be already clean and ready. So a lot of times when I finish decorating the space, I do look back to see what can I do, what changes can be made, what am I missing? And I noticed on my nightstand, I didn't have my decorative boxes. So I added them to the nightstand. I do like to put sometimes my jewelry, my uh, vitamins in them, anything I wanna have quick access to. Over on the other nightstand, I just added a picture frame to it to hide the watch charger as well as the phone charger. All right, so it's the next day, y'all, and my silk pillowcase from Quince came in in a separate package last night, and I wanna go ahead and add it to my pillow.
And look how well it blends with the pillows I already had. Absolutely love it. We're going to go ahead and put it inside of the bed spread pillow cover. And of course, I made the bed off camera because we already know the steps it took. So I took the large mirror out of the space that was in here and I have these two mirrors that I'm going to add one on each side of the TV. They used to be right above my nightstands in the past and recently I used to have them leaning on the wall on top of the nightstand. So we're going to add them on this wall. I want them to be even all the way across with the TV. And these are four foot mirrors and they are the perfect size because they're going to fit right above the metal vent on one side and right before it meets the door on the other side. And here is the actual finished look of the space absolutely love it i did end up moving that artificial plant over in the corner by the window we are coming to the end of this video thank you quince and ting and azaro for collaborating with me on this video thank you all for watching my videos thank you for subscribing to my channel if you haven't already subscribed and you like these types of videos please hit the subscribe button turn your notification on so you'll be notified when i post videos thanks again for watching i hope you enjoyed it i'll see you in the next one but sometimes you fall you